simplest way to design a wall gallery is one by one. Simply select a photo, drag it onto the wall, and then size it to the size that you would like. If you would like to view the actual sizes and dimensions, under the View menu, choose Visible Sizes. Then we'll see here we have a 40 by 30. Next, we can take another photo and put it next to the image. And we can size this to the size that we would like. Additionally, we can click the pencil icon. Then we can choose the exact size we would like to make this canvas. Another simple drag and drop technique is to click outside the photos, select two photos, and then take your hand icon and place it next to or near the bigger canvas. The two smaller canvases will size accordingly. Additionally, if we take just one photo and put it next to it, it will size to align up the edges. Here we see that we didn't get quite the size we wanted, so I can click on the canvas, grab a corner, and bring that in. And we can always change any size to fit the layout that we would like. When we are moving a canvas, you'll notice the smart guides appear when we're trying to line items up next to one another. Here we see the smart guide going vertically to match the spacing between the two canvases that I have selected. By dragging to sizes available and using the pencil icon in addition to the smart guides, it's possible to create any design quickly and easily. Another design technique is just to use the available auto design. Simply select the photos that you would like to design with. Simply select the photos that you would like to design with. Drag them onto the page and it will apply an auto design. Additionally, you can go into the layouts and under standard layouts, you'll see auto-generated designs to fit the photos you've chosen. Simply select the design, adjust the cropping, and make any changes that you would like. Oftentimes, the auto-design is a great place to start to then create your own designs that you might prefer. Swapping and moving photos. <clears throat> Swapping and moving photos in Gallery Designer is quite easy, but works slightly differently than in Album Builder. To swap a photo, click on the photo and move it into the canvas that you would like to move it to. If you select a canvas and click on the photo and try to move the canvas, you'll get some unexpected behavior. That's because you're actually moving the photo and not the canvas. Remember to move a canvas, click on the canvas and grab the edge of the photo on the orange box and then you can move that canvas around where you would like. To zoom and tilt photos, you can use the keyboard shortcuts. All keyboard shortcuts are found under the help menu by choosing keyboard shortcuts. To zoom using the keyboard shortcuts, use the control and the number key, four being 40%, zero being 0%, zero six being 60%. To tilt a photo using the keyboard shortcuts, use the shift key and your greater than and less than sign. If you need more control, double click on the photo and then click on the photo again and at the bottom of the photo, which is the same in Album Builder,
blog collage, image brander, etc. Click on the tool icon and you can use the tilt control and the zoom control to zoom in and out on the photo. Many photographers like to offer composites or single collages that are printed on one canvas, one print, one metal print, etc. This is easily done and resembles design in Album Builder. First, select the main photo you would like to design with and then choose the final size that you would like to design onto. For example, if we want our final composite to be 40 by 40, choose one photo and then create the canvas or metal print, etc. to the size that you would like. Next, choose the number of photos you would like to add to that composite and drop them in there. This must exceed one more photo. Now you'll see we have multiple photos on the actual canvas or collage. To finalize the design, double click on the collage and you'll notice a drop zone just like in Album Builder. I can hold the Option and Shift key and we can make that smaller, giving ourselves space around the edge. We can also add spacing and key lines just like in Album Builder. And next we can take photos and move them around just like in Album Builder. And then by playing with the ratios we can create a collage to our liking. Whether we put a vertical on one side a mixture of verticals and horizontals on the other side, or making everything square on one side. When we click the view icon again, we see that our composite's been created. Once our composite is created, we can also swap photos from within our image well to the composite and design just how we like. In this design overview, we've learned how to create our own collections and composites, as well as use some of the automated features within Gallery Designer in the Fundy Suite.